My name is Janice Aldridge. Welcome to Ponderosa Pond. We're out in East Tennessee, and we're glad you're coming along for our little adventure. We hope you have as much fun as we do. All right, so we are clearing some land here. Uh, my husband's down on the loader, and we've got this hemlock we're trying to get out of the way. So he is kind of just digging the soil out around the hemlock. Hemlocks don't have real, real deep roots or anything. So you can see as he's moving the dirt around and pushing on it, uh, down below he's got his loader. We want to move all the all the uh, trees, all this little trees and little bushes and stuff from the hemlock here, from the hemlock uh, over to our electric pole. So we're, uh, that hemlock's got to come down and he's down, actually down the embankment with the loader. That hemlock's just got a lot of shrubs and stuff all around it, but he's, uh, it's about to come down. It's got so many trees, little trees down at the base all growing up in it. It's half dead. Um, it's not like a real pretty tree or anything, and it's in our way. Won't make very good firewood or anything, so we're, we're just gonna get rid of it. It's kind of shading out the good trees that we have down there too and so we want to drop a couple of containers just behind this and um, put a couple of storage containers down here and so we're kind of clearing out stuff that's real close I don't know if y'all can hear it but I can hear the roots breaking now roots on these hemlocks uh, are not very most of the roots are like up at the top. I think most of what's holding this thing up now, he's rocked it a whole bunch. I think what's mostly holding it up is just all these other trees and bushes and stuff. So hopefully it will fall down onto the other trees. It's kind of an embankment there. So if he comes up from this direction and pushes on it, it'll just fall right down. There's Sky, our dog. He's a... Uh, out here helping the best he can. Probably not the smartest idea for me to be right out here. Uh, my, if it falls on the loader, uh, we'd just have to cut it up and drag it off by hand. Loader is, um, you know, pretty well protected. And it's a big piece of metal machinery here. So we'll come down this way. And, uh, see how things are looking so this is um we're just gonna bring it out from our driveway and make like another driveway here and you can see he's uh clearing out an area down here for the containers and uh so that hemlock is actually downhill kind of hard to tell on the video but the hemlock is on like a small embankment and on the side so sky you better come back over here boy sky so we'll see how this uh, hemlock goes down it's way up there I have to tie a chain up to it. We're just trying to get it down without having to get the chainsaw out and keep the roots all attached so we can just drag the whole thing down to the burn pile. But now that I'm looking at it, it's probably too big to just go down to the burn pile on its own. We probably will have to cut it up some. It's a pretty big, uh, pretty big tree there it kind of shades a lot of our other trees that we have keeps them from growing and we've got some other things we want to plant down there also so not just do uh, not just a spot for the containers 
We're trying to change up our landscape a little bit here. Maybe get some spots for gardens a little bit closer to the house. And uh, just do some general work around the property here. this way a little bit. So like I said, uh, everything from this electric pole over to the hemlock, all this other little stuff uh, will knock down real easy, especially with that hemlock out of the way. It will definitely, that hemlock out of the way and that stuff will all come out real easy. I kind of think the hemlock is stuck on some of the smaller stuff down here, too. Well, let's see about getting some more footage. It may take a little bit longer to take down. He's trying to get the bucket underneath it and just uh, drag the roots out. He's taking out a lot of trees, even trees this size, just um, they weren't quite as tangled up and everything as this. So that's how we do it is he'll get the bucket in and he'll just drag it. We may have to put a chain on it. Sometimes you have to just put a chain on it to give it extra support because the bucket, you can't just drag the roots, but kind of the way the trunk's looking from what I can see, looks like he's pretty much breaking the roots up pretty good but I can also see we got another tree that's down some big branches that are holding that from uh, there's a dead tree behind it and we'll have to take that dead tree down but there's some branches from that dead tree that have gotten intertwined you can't really see it from here but I think that's part of the problem so I know he's gonna try to take that dead tree out behind the hemlock and uh you know you kind of got to clean up the forest a little bit sometimes so between this hemlock and that dead tree and all this little stuff uh, we'll see we may leave that little dogwood there we may leave the dogwood we like the dogwoods they're very pretty but we have quite a few of them also so we'll see how it goes We'll see how the we'll see what happens uh, when we were clearing this and where we need to drop where we're wanting to drop the containers. It was kind of already making the hemlocks uh, root system there. They're, they're so close to the surface. It was kind of making it uh, a little bit on the weak side, and so instead of waiting till it dies and falls on top of the containers. We decided we just went ahead and take it out now because we'd already damaged it a little bit. So it's it's still a pretty strong tree right now, but that's what we were figuring was that it would get, uh, it wouldn't stay strong for long. A couple good rains with uh, all the other trees being pulled down around it just might not be so good. a bit of a tricky mess that's why we're starting early in the day we work on it for a while if he needs to come on down here a little ways Every time I try to walk down here, he starts rocking that thing, and I think I shouldn't be, shouldn't just be uh, down here where a tree might get me. At least if it falls on me and I'm standing next to the house, it hits the house instead of me. Sky. That too, and Sky wants to help so much. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's definitely uh, some dead tree branches from that other tree that have stuck in there and just a whole bunch of them that are just keeping it from coming down real easy. See, he starts to rock that thing. That thing's really big. You couldn't really see it. It is so uh, impacted into the trees. I can hear it breaking. Okay, the dead tree behind it just toppled over or a good bit of the branches. I just saw, well, I guess it was just some branches. So we'll be dragging that out by hand, a lot of this stuff. But you can hear it. Okay, that hemlock's going down. It's, he's, he's really getting it broken up there. There we go. Go lay down, Sky. Come on, let's go up here. You go lay down. Got to make sure Sky doesn't. Uh... Yeah, he's got. I see you got your stick. All right, it's down. Hey, it broke. Yeah, it, it definitely, man. He's uh breaking a lot of the. the it's about down. Also, part of what we're hearing is the dead tree behind it, too. I think it just came down. Um, good bit of it. <sighs> Takes a little bit to get these things dug up this way, but they, uh, long run, I think it'll be better. Sky, go lay down. Yeah, it's definitely hung up on these other trees, so many other trees. It just keeps popping back up. But if you look and see how much support it has down here, all these small trees, we've cleared off all these small trees like this uh, from around it on the other side. about a week ago. So if you come over here, you can kind of get a glimpse of the loader working through there. So we have a lot of vines. Um, we have a whole bunch of honeysuckle that has grown up in there, and I can see the honeysuckle vines all over everything. That and uh, we've run into poison ivy, and the poison ivy will get really, really big. I mean, huge vines, and then when it dies, it's just wrapped around stuff from tree to tree. It can hold trees up in the air. You literally cut it all off. And, uh... Yeah? Okay. Okay, so he's cleared some of the smaller trees around and got some more dirt from around it. And, um... <clears throat> to get it pushed over and enough that it stays pushed over if it would it keeps bouncing back up if it would stay pushed over he could then dig 
<clears throat> dig underneath it, get a hold of the root system, and just drag it out. Or like I said, put a chain on it. Uh, sometimes we have to do that. It just kind of depends. This one's pretty big. We'll probably have to go grab the chain. what in the world is going on yeah I see these man these little trees are still holding it up there could see I could see the little trees he's trying to get that little stuff knocked down a little bit more yeah he's pulled out another one that vines too the vines they just tangle everything up he can push through the vines but they keep everything attached so the vines that are attached to the hemlock and then onto other trees or onto these little shrubs it just keeps it from going all the way over. It just keeps it bouncing back up. <clears throat> we have quite a few vines. The vines are actually reason why we uh, had to stop doing our fencing earlier this year because the vines was just so much. Uh, you cut them all down and then the next day you'd be out there fencing. It's um, amazing how much the stuff could just grow up just in a day or two. And we had so much rain for a while, we couldn't, couldn't keep up with them, with the vines, the undergrowth. And the blackberries are terrible. They're not vines, but them blackberries, they got all those thorns and stuff, and they just grow up everywhere quickly. A lot of the extra little trees cleared out of there now. Sky, you need to stay up here, boy. Now, see, this tree we're not necessarily wanting to take down. We want to keep that tree. So, um, but the dead one behind can go it's half down that dead one big old branches have broken off a bit through all this so I'll probably go down in the the dead tree branches I'll probably pull up for kindling just drag them out by hand after we get this hemlock out of the way So he's cleared some more of the small trees out of the way. And uh, you can see him a lot better through there, see the loader. And uh, there's not as much pulling it up, pulling it back, but it's still connected to some. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
it's rocking, I can still see one tree it is definitely hanging up on. Ah. He's got it broken up enough now that he's kind of, if he can just lift it up a little bit, so he might be able to, he's trying to come up from like the top part, but he can't come up here because it'd be too much of an angle. So he can't just come from this direction. It's down. I don't think it'll come back up. I may be wrong, but it's down, it's down, it's down, hallelujah. Okay, that hemlock is down. Now this is gonna be the fun part is just getting the drug out, but. Then again, he may be able to I'm really glad that it came down the way it did. He really dug around on it to make sure that it came down the right way, so that works out very, very well. And look at the size and the root system there. That's the down tree. And uh, as you see, it's just as big. It's bigger than his cat. This is not a little cat. This ain't like one of those... Uh, a bobcat. This is a big cat. And uh, that thing is huge. Look at that little system. So anyway, it's, uh, it's down. Alrighty. Good deal.